this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts. Sorry, I've been a bit MIA here, guys. I have had the worst time with being sick. I had the flu back to back, thought it was pneumonia at one point, and then ended up getting checked out. Turned out to just be a really severe case of bronchitis. So you might still hear it in my voice a bit, but I do feel a lot better. So I really wanted to get back into doing readings for you guys. So this isn't technically for the first half of April. Um, this is what I would consider to be a timeless reading. Take from it what makes sense for you personally. I'm not really concentrating on any particular time frame whenever you happen to run across it, all right? But these are the two decks that I'll be using. They are both my decks. This one is the Silhouettes deck. This one is my new one, Scenarios, The Veil of Deceit and Desire. So this particular one has upright and reverse interpretations if you haven't seen me use it yet. So very similar to tarot. And of course, I'll clarify everything with um, tarot decks. So let's begin, guys, and let's go ahead and take a look and see what the messages are for you. All right, Taurus, let's get into some messages for you. General advice, as always, so please keep that in mind throughout your reading and take from it what makes sense for you personally. Okay, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. You could also be cross-watching for Taurus, of course. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what it is that you need to know when it comes to you and a particular someone that you are either currently dealing with, could be a past influence. Let's see. Beam of light. Surround yourself with those who bring the light into your life rather than dimming it. Okay. So that could be an indication that there are certain people that you interact with, Taurus, that are not good for you. And there could be friends, there could be family who are surrounding you, but maybe you're closed off to it, okay? That's just part of what I'm picking up there. We also have temptations. Not everything you see is meant for you to have. And so that could be the influence from people who are in your life, who are surrounding you, who know what's best for you, perhaps, but you've got your own idea of what it is that you are wanting in your life, of course. Sometimes this can represent literally going after either people or situations that are not good for you. Okay, let's grab one more. Okay, the winter time could be a significant time for you. December, January, February, you could be dealing with Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, or Pisces. Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify this with some tarot. I'll be pulling from my tarot teacher here. This is the revised edition. Okay. So be mindful of whatever these temptations might be, Taurus. Because you could be dealing with some unsavory people here. Okay. We do have the Emperor, so this represents a Divine Masculine. It could also represent like a father figure in your life. Somebody who is trying to direct you towards the right path, perhaps, could represent perhaps an authority figure in your life. Somebody who wants to, no, well, sometimes the emperor can be a little bit controlling, but I feel this person has good intentions. I'm just feeling more so good intentions coming from a divine masculine here. You could be dealing with Aries, Taurus. Okay, so we do have a reversed Queen of Swords. So this could represent the Divine Feminine here. 
cold-hearted, cruel, overly critical. So if a divine feminine is coming through in this way, that could have resulted in perhaps disagreements, arguments between the masculine and the feminine, perhaps. And then we have the tower. So that's the chaos. That is some sort of catastrophic experience in the relationship, more than likely resulting in a separation here. Let's see what else. And maybe for my feminines, if you have experienced a situation with a masculine, for example, and if they were mean to you or if they just didn't treat you right, that could have also caused you to maybe either end the relationship or allow you to be tempted by other scenarios, other people. So if there was infidelity here, perhaps part of this cold energy from the feminine is now being directed towards a masculine who just did not treat the feminine right. So that might have resulted in some drama here. Let's see what else. We do see the Five of Cups. And of course, fives can represent something challenging. Okay. Sadness, loss, grief, despair. Somebody that could have definitely disappointed you, Taurus. It's, it's part of having regret over past actions. Let's see what else. It hasn't been easy, I feel. That could also be where that cold energy is coming from with the winter frozen. Seven of Wands, okay. This could be your way of um, protecting your heart space too. You know, especially if you feel like someone's coming at you and if they, they're just attacking your character maybe. You're just trying to keep it together, but you could also be dealing with somebody who wants to control you. Look at that. Seven of Swords. Okay. So deception, lies, cheating, betrayal of some sort. That contributed to that tower. But what I can tell you here, Taurus, is regardless of what you've been through, even though you have definitely been tested by love and life, you are such a strong person. I mean, you have what it takes to overcome these things. You just got to take it a step at a time, you know, one step at a time, and you will overcome this. Um, what I can see here is you have the support system. You actually have a great support system. Maybe you have failed to recognize that in the form of your friends, family. I mean, these are people that really have your back, regardless of some of the more difficult experiences that you've had especially when it comes to your love life and you know people that you couldn't trust people that perhaps you gave your all to and people that you really did trust and they betrayed you somehow okay so just be mindful of that because you can't be too trusting of people that don't deserve that trust okay let's grab some additional messages here angels and spirit guides please focusing on taurus what do we need to know tower moments coming through you gave your all to someone you trusted them and they messed up you know so we do have the twins here um i am seeing separated twin flames forever connected twins regardless of no contact love-hate relationship with your twin flame so take that if it makes sense okay because uh-oh that's my husband doing work hold on one second guys sorry about that he was doing some gardening and forgot i was in my office so as we can see we've got the twins card coming through here guys so for some of you perhaps you feel that this is a very challenging twin flame connection and there he goes again okay guys third time's a charm Oh my gosh, all these interruptions. That could be where this 
same energy that tower energy is coming from that's interesting all right let's let's grab another card here so that did come up in the reverse okay you guys are separated you're not with this person i mean that doesn't take away from the connection but we did see some challenges there let's see The fighter okay that could also indicate some of the disagreements and arguments that you guys had but it is in the upright so it says powerful goal driven fearless fighter strong conviction so it could be a part of this person's intentions to try to win you back that's what they're focused on that could be what their goal is they're not afraid to go after what it is they want especially if what they want is you It depends on how you see it, of course. Let's grab one more. Okay. And then we have seashell. Finding strength despite life's thunderstorms. Unexpected messages from lost loves. Is that not interesting? So here's the thunderstorm. That tower card is very significant here for your reading, Taurus. So if you're not feeling very strong right now, this could also be an indication that you're worth fighting for. Your happiness is worth fighting for. And just because somebody is our twin flame, that does not guarantee that we're going to end up with them, that they're going to be with us for the rest of our lives. Yes, the connection will always be there, but we are seeing some sort of challenge that's preventing you guys from either coming together right now or working through some of the obstacles that are coming in the way or getting in the way. All right, I'll be pulling from my 10 yellow tarot here for Taurus. What else do we need to know? So this person, whoever this is, and it might even be more than one person who has disappointed you when it comes to love and romance. You've got the hermit. You could also be dealing with a Virgo. That could just simply be an indication, too, of needing time to yourself to really self-reflect and do some soul-searching so that you can find your strength once again. You know, this right here, finding strength despite life's thunderstorms. And sometimes you need a break from situations and people and just need to have stillness and quiet around you so that you could figure out what it is that you want or take time to focus on your own healing we're getting fives, see? Okay, so the conflict between you and this person, it's coming through. There is some sort of rivalry, competition. Definitely conflict, for sure. But the thing is, Taurus, you know, you love this person. Despite some of the ups and downs that you guys have been through, I feel you, you might still have... A lot of love for this person in your heart but look at how interesting this gets you've got the ace of cups so the ace of cups starts with you the ace of cups needs you to love yourself first before you can extend that love to somebody else so if you have forgotten about yourself along this journey this is a reminder for you to Focus on you for a minute. Focus on yourself. And I feel that's a very strong message. You know, you got to do some soul searching first so that you can work on filling that cup for yourself first. Because you're not looking to anyone to complete you. That's something that you can do for yourself. You're simply looking to someone to complement your life, not to complete you. That's something that you can do on your own. Okay, especially for my feminines, you're coming in with the energy of the high priestess. And I mean, the key word is intuition for a reason. And you have to trust what your heart is telling you. You will find your strength through trusting what your heart is telling you. This is life's way. This is the universe's way of directing you onto a different path. It's, in a way, trying to wake you up 
to make better choices for yourself. Okay, and you will. See, we've got all these fives coming through, so it's, it's reminding you that even though you've struggled along the way, you always have the power to walk away from a situation or from a person if it's just not right for you, you know? That's where your strength is to take that first step to walk away from someone or a situation if it's just not serving you anymore. Because the longer you stick around, look at this, you've got the Three of Swords, it's just going to continue to hurt you. And you're coming in as a queen, look at this. My Divine Feminine Tauruses, you're coming in as this Queen of Pentacles. You know, you have this very giving heart, and you have the capability to be so incredibly nurturing and successful in your own life. But you might also be giving away your power to people that don't deserve it. Okay, you've got other choices in front of you. You actually have a lot in front of you. And you're simply being directed to make different choices now. Make better choices for yourself. The Magician, look at how cool this is. Here's the Strength card, okay? So remember, guys, with the Seashell card, it literally says, Finding Strength Despite Life's Thunderstorms. Well, here it is. You will find that strength. Taurus. You just need to trust in the process, okay? You can manifest so much in your life. You can manifest the right kind of love for you, um, better situations, more uplifting experiences aside from where you've already been, which is this tower, you know? So you got to be mindful of some of the choices and decisions that you have made so you can avoid this upheaval in your life in the future, and you absolutely can. You're stronger than you realize. You're a lot stronger than you give yourself credit for. So if you're not feeling it right now, this is a time for you to really dig deep and do that soul searching. And you'll find it. You will find it. All right, guys. So to wrap up your reading, I wanted to give you the opportunity to ask your own questions. I'm going to pull from my definitive answers oracle. So your question has to either be a yes a no, maybe, unlikely. It's very similar to the eight ball game that, that's out there. So um, I'll go ahead and pull three cards. It could be about love. It could be about your finances, career, friendships, family, whatever it is. You can ask any question. And if it's just not the answer that you're hoping for, just be mindful of the fact that maybe timing could be off. Or it's just not meant for you, you know? Sometimes it's very difficult for us to accept that a situation is not for us or a person is not for us. But the universe has bigger, grander um, things that they want to be able to manifest for you or that it wants to be able to manifest for you. Okay, so go ahead and focus on your first question. And let's take a look and see what that answer is. You can either think about it, you could focus on it, you could say it out loud, whatever makes you feel comfortable. All right, Taurus, question number one. Here we go. Oh my gosh, this one says, oh, hell no. So that's a pretty loud exclamation of something that should not happen for you. And maybe there's a part of your heart space that already knows that, okay? All right, so if you have a second question, go ahead and ask it now. Here we go. Ask again later. So timing could be off for that particular question. That doesn't give you a yes or a no. It's just not the right time right now to ask. Okay, all right, so one last one. For Taurus, one final question for the collective. All right, here we go. Look at this one. Don't take no for an answer. So for this particular one, you're being directed to be more proactive, perhaps be a little bit more aggressive and wanting to make something happen for yourself. So if you run into roadblocks, for example, you have to find another way. 
you need to find another creative outlet, perhaps, to turn that no into a yes. Okay, so that's what I've got for you, Taurus, this time around. I do hope that there was something in this reading that helped you out. If you are interested in your own personal private reading, I'll have that link for you down below in the description box, as well as the links to all of the decks that you see here. All right, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate your patience and waiting for these readings while I recovered from being sick and um, appreciate all the well wishes. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time. Take care.